Hey guys, it's me, Erdos12, and just a little update today, um, i5 was released around 24 minutes ago, but, um, let me just give you a history of it. The first GUI to ever appear um, was RRD Legacy. It wasn't modified, it wasn't anything, it was just there. Then i1 came out, which is basically, it was a little better, it had a little bar around it to show you that it was an inventory. i2 made it a lot larger and but the buttons were going this way they were going vertically on one side i3 was um quite different it had like buttons that you can actually press and it was actually going from side to side it's also featured in a thumbnail which is still up today it's a thumbnail featuring the um i5 button now, um, another thing I have to show you for sure is I4. I4 was the one with the frames, and at the inventory services which it was in, it was printed within GUI elements, which was also printed within inventory service, and not to mention the fact that inventory service, if you think about it, was a place where you would get the template button from I3. But the different thing about it was it was a frame because it had to hold the image. The, the actual texture ID was placed on the image, but the label so that you can see what it was or what it looked like and whatnot. But also, it could be also like described now because i5 came out, which now features tooltips and also a search bar, which does use the text that you have to search for it, but you have to be very careful because. Some people can use regular expressions to find things, but hey, that's okay. Anyways, let's get started. I'm about to show you another thing too. Tool Persistence version 2 is out. Tool Persistence version 1 was the one that didn't have, like it had data persistence instead of data stores using that. But now this one is better because it uses serialization. Yeah, and by the way, that quest system was really useful. The one that I made was useful because the quest system was something in which, if you think about it, was, you know, let me just tell you what the quest system was all about. The quest system was the first thing I ever made for this game in which uses serialized data. Serializes the quest and then re deserializes it when you load the game if you started a quest. But um, the next thing I have to tell you is that the same thing happens to the character customization and finally the tools. It's going to load a little bit because I've changed it to make sure that it only does it when the starter GUI is up. Look at that, it saved my shirt, and as you see here, this is my character. And, um, hmm. You know, info on the battery, base damage. So it basically gives you stats about that. Pickaxe, you know. Basic damage, 2 to 5, critical damage, 2x. And that one is a little different, because that one is a very, hmm. Curved lightsaber, bouncy brick. Oh yeah, this is the RBX4 controller. This is the brick. Now, if you want to search for things such as a disc, you would do this. Surprisingly, that works. See that? It actually worked. Now, if you want to see all of your tools, go here. You have to like make sure it's out. Now this also works for other things too, such as a dual lightsaber, or actually, how about a curved lightsaber? So now, if you want, you can also get information on certain things that you want. See, I have two curved lightsabers there. And, um... If you guys want to, you can also get certain information on certain disks. Like, for example, 
this one right here is bouncy brick as you can see this is my controller self-explanatory the battery still doesn't have that this tells you the base damage and the critical damage gives you different stats so that you can be able to use the saber better now here's what we're doing this is my quest So now, let's see if I can use my E5 blaster. I'm going to go to codes. And then if you guys know, there will be a code at the end to actually commemorate this event. Battle Void. Yeah, here you go. Redemption successful. And then here's what you have to do. Unfortunately, I can't show you the quest because I would actually have to reset my character. <laughs> See that? You hear that noise, right? Respawns. So respawns like this, and you see I still have the clothing, which is great. Now, another thing I'm about to show you is what my E5 can do. Now, I only have one of these right now. That's because the other one was given, but I can still shoot him. Gosh, oh no, I'm too far in. Okay, uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm having technical difficulties trying to get in. Stay behind here. What if I shoot that guy? Nothing happens just yet. Oh wait, I got him. Almost did it. You know what? Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Whoa, whoa. Uh... Yep, there I go. I'm dead. Well, you see this game is still in beta. It's been in beta since like, I think, winter break of last year. Watch when I shoot him again. Now the reason why you don't see me using grenades, even though it is turbo fusion as you can see here, is because if I try to use grenades if I try to use grenades it won't work because it's a limited edition which was uh, shown to you in an earlier video if you can look on my uh, server front previews now watch what I'll do. I'll equip something else. Now, if you want, I can equip the dual lightsaber. Time to get wrecked. And does he do it? Yep, he gets wrecked. Apparently he got wrecked. So, there you have it. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I am going to save my tools. So I'm going to open up the console for you.
save like this. Now, when you do that, you want to make sure that you go like. Let's just see if it worked. If there's any errors in item persistence or anything like that, then I will let you know. Okay, nothing there. Just save the table. Tool. Tool store service. Okay, I think it's good. Now I'm about to show you exactly what happens when you do it. Hopefully it will be more leverageable and better because I just updated it with a new tool persistence system. I'm hoping it's better. Because you don't want to face anything you don't want to face. Wait for it to appear before you do anything. And I will show you the basics of how it works. It's taking a little while, but don't worry, guys. Sorry guys, I was just a little idle for a little while. Okay, let's, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, there's a screen. And now, get ready for the big part when I actually show you what what just went on. There it goes. All right, guys, get ready. So here it comes. The um, server from level should be here shortly, and so should the inventory GUI. There's a lot of sound going on in the background there. I can hear it, but you can't. Watch what happens. Still have my clothes. Oh, not I. Uh, e. Sorry. Oh boy, uh, it's a little bit of a problem. At least it saved both of my curved lightsabers. I believe it just did that. But, um... Hmm, interesting. Well guys, I'm gonna have to show a part 2 of this release edition of Saber Front previews so they're from preview number three so um subscribe like comment do whatever you like to do and cheers